The Bennington County Solid Waste Alliance is a multi-talent consortium serving communities in southwest Vermont, and it's the place to go when you need to dispose of hazardous household waste. That would include things like antifreeze, turpentine, old paint, pesticides, herbicides, fire extinguishers, and much more. It's located off of Houghton Lane in Bennington at the Casella Transfer Station there. That's where you might find Scott Grimm Lyon, the Solid Waste Program Manager for the Bennington County Regional Commission, and where he explains for us the background and the operations of the hazardous waste facility there. As far as household hazardous waste collection goes, this is the first permanent facility that we've had in you know this region of Vermont, the, the southwestern region of Vermont. Um, we, up until recently, we held events. Uh, so up until two years ago, we held events uh, where we asked members of the public to all arrive on one day within a short sort of four hour window. There were really long queues, people waited a really long time, and everybody sort of just drove their cars up and often these were held at um, local schools. Um, that model has been replaced with this model here, which is a permanent household hazardous waste collection facility. Um, we opened for the first time on July 31st of 2023. So this is our first full year of operations. Last year we kind of had a, had a uh, shortened season because we were waiting to get all of our permits and uh, EPA, everything straightened out with the state. Uh, we are located here, of course, uh, on an active, um, in an active transfer station. So there was uh, some, some dealing with uh, Casella and the town of Bennington in order to make sure that our facility was, you know, uh, gonna fit well within the everyday operations that are here. Um, and so that, all that took a little while to get going, but um, July 31st of last year, we, we got all, everything in order. We started uh, operations. Uh, this, uh, the chief part of uh, what, we, what we did that was different was just to put in this large storage facility. Uh, this storage facility was paid for, 60% uh, of it was paid for with a grant from the Agency of Natural Resources. And then the other 40% of it was paid for by local tax dollars uh, from the 13 towns that are part of the Bennington County Solid Waste Alliance. Uh, all of them chipped in uh, for this facility based on the proportion of their population to the, uh, to the size of the uh, county as a whole. And um, yeah, and, and so we are open, uh, you know, despite us being you know, located here at the Bennington Transfer Station, uh, we are open to members from all of those 13 towns. So if you're from Dorset, if you're from Rupert, if you're from Manchester, uh, you know, you're more than welcome to come down here and use our facility as well. Uh, we expect you to, and we, and we hope that you're gonna come down. Uh, we have noticed that when folks from further distances away come down, they do tend to bring slightly larger loads. Uh, that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, you know, we, we expect uh, people to come in with um, around up to 15 gallons worth of materials and uh, we've created a series of an appointment schedule so that way our uh, field chemist who we work with here is able to sort everything you know, over the course of the day uh, at an appropriate pace uh, based on those sort of uh, appointment schedules. So what we do is we are open on Mondays, with, uh, first appointment being at 9.30 in the morning and the last appointment being uh, you know, ending at four o'clock in the afternoon. What we do here specifically is household hazardous waste. So. Um, things that say poison, things that say toxic, things that say flammable. Um, a lot of the stuff that's under your sink that you haven't thought about in 15 years. A lot of the stuff that's just sitting in a corner of your basement that maybe has been there since before you even bought the house. Uh, all that stuff we collect. The largest amount of uh, items that we collect are actually paint. So, um, we've got, uh, this is, you know, we've collected um, gallons and gallons of paint uh, from the public. This is only our fourth week of operations this year, uh, and we've already filled up four of these big barrels uh, with a paint. So um, again, these are things that people who, um, the members of the public, when they are going through their things, when they have uh, large quantities of things, they're cleaning out the basement, doing spring cleanup work. Um, these are exactly the kind of things that they wanna you know, uh, dispose of. Um, we have a, a program in Vermont called Paint Care. Uh, so all architectural paints and stains and things that are meant for household use or again, your, your back deck, uh, we will accept all of that here. Uh, there are also other opportunities if you have smaller quantities to bring it, bring up. So if you have a large quantity 
you're bringing in 15, you know, uh, gallons of paint, like I said, um, you know, this is probably your best opportunity to get rid of all of that at once. But if you have a smaller quantity, you know, two gallons, three gallons, uh, you should look uh, on our website, bcswa.org and see exactly where um, there, there may be other local collection options because I know they're um, usually at hardware stores, but most places um, that sell paint will also collect it as well as part of the paint care program. Uh, they, however, have a much lower uh, quantity of paint that they can accept at a time. Sure. Uh, so we actually have a really great list on our website, um, bcswa.org, or you can put in uh, benningtoncountywaste.org. That'll also take you right to our website. Uh, we have something called an A to Z list, and you can go down there and you can look, and it'll say everything from aerosols, which if you have active aerosols, you'd want to bring here, you know, all the way to, you know, batteries, you know, uh, it'll tell you different types of batteries and where to bring different types of batteries. Uh, automotive batteries uh, usually are, again, going to be taken at the, at the retailer location. There are a couple of other places that will take automotive batteries, um, you know, we can uh your main transfer station some of them will take them not not all of them um and uh you know the thing for the public is of course a transfer station is going to charge you because we have to you know get rid of them but often um a retailer what they're going to do is they're even going to give you a credit towards buying a new battery or towards some other products in their store so that's usually the better bet for individuals if they have an automobile battery um fluorescent light bulbs again those are collected uh at your um Unfortunately, in um, the Northshire, they're no longer collected at the local transfer stations up there, um, but there are uh, opportunities where you can take up to 10 bulbs at a time if you have the very large bulbs to the transfer station. Uh, so we just have a member of the public showing up right now, uh, dropping off some stuff. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so, so uh, there, there are lots of options and, and I'd recommend if you have any questions about uh, where to dispose of anything, uh, within the area, you, you for, your first stop is to go to our website, BenningtonCountyWaste.org, and you will find um, an exhaustive list of, of, of different types of items. Um, and anything that you can't find on there, feel free to call up our office. Uh, my phone number's right on the uh, website there. Um, I take calls all the time trying to help people uh, figure out how to deal with items that are not, not always the um, uh, easiest to understand how to dispose of. Yeah, so the process uh, for coming here to the Household Hazardous Waste Facility is to make an appointment first. So again, the first step is to go to our website, um, benningthecountywaste.org, and what you can do there is uh, there's an online appointment calendar system. It's very user-friendly. Uh, we had some issues with the calendar system we had last year, so we ended up, you know, as part of our growing experience, we ended up doing a lot of work specifically with the... Um, with the website team this year to, to make that a lot more uh, user-friendly and easy for the public to understand. And uh, we've had some really good results and it's uh, easy for you to just click through and click on a day, click on a time, uh, and then just fill in a, a, answer a couple of quick questions for us. We, we'd like to know what town you come from. We'd like to know in advance kind of the quantity of stuff you're bringing. And then we're happy to obviously take you for your appointment here then. So one of the nice things about having the facility here is uh, small businesses are also able to access this facility. Um, it's largely here for residential use, but what we do with small businesses um, is they create uh, a category they call very small quantity generators. Um, and what what they do is what we do is we'll, we'll often take the waste for them at the same day that we have a, a ship out of all of our waste here. Uh, so we'll collect it from you and we act sort of as a, as a pass through organization. So you don't have to go through all the additional work as a small business to get all those um, like I said, EPA licensing to be to, to register yourself as a hazardous waste generator. Um, again, uh, talk to our office uh, and we'll be happy to walk you through the process and we'll make sure whether or not you qualify uh, as a very small quantity generator. But most of the small businesses we operate with are, are here. So uh, we just had last week um, uh, one of the very large hardware stores in the area. Um, they had got a new paint machine a few years ago and the old type, all their old cans of paint tint you know, did not work with their new machines. So we got an entire pallet full of uh, full of paint tints that they had uh, left over from years and years ago when they had this older machine and it just been sitting on there, you know, sitting in their warehouse for, uh, for a couple of years. And uh, we have uh, now taken that off their hands. Um, we're disposing of that for them. We're making sure that paint gets recycled properly and um, that it's going to be uh, reused. Uh, another thing is there's another folk from, um, 
from a uh, group from Rupert, a uh, small business who does, um, they make lamps, uh, antiquing, antiquing metal, you know, so they had some chemicals that they used for that. And uh, we also collected that for them and, and we're, ship, we're sort of acting as a pass-through for them to make sure that that stuff is disposed uh, properly and that it's not going to affect the environment in a negative way, uh, disposal-wise. The facility is open to residents of Arlington, Bennington, Dorset, Glastonbury, Manchester, Pownall, Rupert, Sandgate, Searsburg, Shaftesbury, Stanford, Sunderland, and Woodford. For the Jeanette TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.